What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another band made reaction. We're going to take a look at the song called Sayonaki Dori or Nightingale. So, we have already reacted to the acoustic version of this song, so it's going to be interesting to see how different this is from that. But yeah, if you're just joining us, we're going down every single band made song in order to track their evolution of sound, and we are working our way through their seventh album, Unseen World. And yeah, let's check this one out Sayonaki Dori, Nightingale, Songbird, all of the above. Let's do it. It's definitely, oh, from what I remember, it's like a Miku song. So let's see. Okay. Quite different. A lot faster. Yeah, this is definitely different from the uh, acoustic version. It's a lot faster. It's got drums in it, obviously. <laughs> No, but the drums in this are uh, a little bit on the chaotic side. I mean, there were some pretty cool little sections so far, but yeah, it seems to be a little more chaotic than groovy so far. But uh, let's keep going. She likes those little bump, bump, bump. Okay, here we go. Man, I, I really, really love the uh, melody of that chorus. And Miku's voice, I love that too. You don't, We don't get enough of just her voice. So it's a nice little treat there. Where did this come from? What the heck? Man, they're throwing a lot into this song. A little like dun 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 dun. A little like death metal section in there, dude. This is awesome. I mean, I loved the acoustic version and I love this too. It's definitely a different take on it for sure. A little progressive on the drums too. Da -dun -da -da.
Would you consider that a rhythm solo? <laughs> that sounded awesome, though. Whatever it was. I want to hear that again. Unexpected surprise. I thought this was going to be like a calm song, you know. I was comparing it too much to the uh, acoustic in my head, but this was fucking amazing. Kind of reminds me of the last song in that it's got like quite a bit of chaos going on, you know, mostly around the drums with kind of this sort of progressive, just never letting you rest kind of uh, drums, drum beats. But man, wow. Jesus. I did see a nice uh, live version on YouTube, so yeah, let's check that out real quick. But dude, that was really good. Before we launch into the chorus, I just want to say, man, this definitely seems like they're giving Miku a challenge just by the look on her face there. Like, it seemed like she was, you know, really kind of having a try to get that out. I mean, to play some complex riff and sing at the same time, I know, so not easy at all. So, um, yeah, good on her, though. God damn, these riffs.
もまたサーキュレーションバレたくない笑ってみたのどこまでも今日So good live. It's amazing. Well, Jesus, that was awesome. Hmm. I, no offense, Psyche, but I would like to see some more Miku fronted songs because we don't, you know, she's kind of just hidden in the midst of the rest, I think, a lot of times. And I'm sure she'd probably prefer that. It does seem like she's not one to want to be in the spotlight, but. <clears throat> Man, let's see here. The drums, the bass, <laughs> uh, chaotic as usual. They definitely have plenty of nice, awesome, groovy sections, but the sections are generally pretty short, and they switch to another one, you know, pretty quickly. So it's one of those where you, you don't get a second to rest. You know, you're sitting there just by the as soon as you like hear one section you're like okay this is nice boom you're in another section and uh that's kind of the theme of the last couple songs is uh there's like no hardly any downtime i mean there's a couple sections in the song where you know there were some of those uh just sort of vocal tracks or some kind of speaking voice but man i like miku's little solo too a rhythm guitar solo that was something we haven't heard a lot of or any of i don't really recall too much of that but yeah it's so funny to see like Miku kind of turning to Konami for approval I don't know maybe I'm reading into that but like she finished a section and she would turn to Konami and Konami would like be like yeah good job like that's kind of the dynamic I saw on this live version uh Konami over there looking like a proud mom um but from what I was hearing in the comments, like, the, uh, 
Konami kind of wrote this to challenge Miku. And it seems like there's a bit of that going on in this album where Konami's sort of trying to bring the best out of everybody by uh, giving them some challenging music to play. But, dude, this was fun. This was awesome. I will definitely have to listen to this some more to kind of flesh out my opinion, as always. But, yeah. Um, and, you know, I did react to the acoustic version first, and that was really lovely. And, you know, everyone's like, oh, the acoustics are better. And I wouldn't say that. I They're just, to me, in this case, too different to compare, you know, like. The acoustic was so nice and mellow and relaxing, and this one was full of awesome riffs and just, yeah, chocked full of fun, amazing music. <laughs> but yeah, in general, amazing freaking song. Yeah, this was band made with Sayonaki Dori. Um, I think that means Nightingale. Or like Songbird. I don't know if that's in reference to Miku being a pigeon and singing or something. I was looking at some comments and it kind of was suggesting that that may be the case. But anyway, bandmate, Sayanaki Dori. Thank you guys for watching, as always. And uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this type of stuff, please subscribe. Let me know what you thought about this in the comments. And be sure to check the description on your way out. That's where I've put all the other bandmate reactions I've done. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow with another one. Later.